Now, the spillover effect of the Israel-Hamas war is widening in the Red Sea. Tensions are escalating in the region with rising attacks from the Yemen-based Houthi rebels. In the latest skirmish between the United States forces and Houthis, at least 10 rebels were killed and two others were wounded. United States forces struck Houthi vessels in the southern Red Sea on Sunday after they attacked and tried to board a container ship operated by Maersk Shipping Company. The vessel is Singapore-flagged and Denmark-owned container ship named Maersk Hangzhou. Small boats originating from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen fired arms weapons at the Maersk Hangzhou. Responding to the ship's request for assistance, the United States shot down two anti-ship ballistic missiles from Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen. The United States Navy helicopter sank three of the four small Houthi boats. The latest incident marks the 23rd attack by the Houthis on international shipping since November the 19th. In the wake of rising attacks, India is enhancing its maritime and aerial surveillance in the Arabian Sea. Task groups which comprises of destroyers and frigates have been deployed in the region. This includes INS Kolkata, INS Kochi, INS Mormugao, INS Chennai and INS Visakhapatnam. In addition, aerial surveillance by long-range maritime patrol aircraft and remotely piloted aircraft would also take place. Over the last week, maritime vessels transitioning through international shipping lanes in the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and Central Arabian Sea have come under a string of attacks. The twin threat is posed by Yemen's Houthi rebels and Somalian pirates. The Houthis, an Iran-backed rebel group, says the attacks are a direct response to Israel's ongoing offensive in Gaza. The United States has also launched a maritime coalition of over 20 countries. Operation Prosperity Guardian, as it is called, is underway to tackle the Houthi threat. These countries that are part of it will patrol the region to safeguard commercial shipping against attacks. Remember, the Red Sea is a key entry point for ships using the Suez Canal. 12% of the worldwide trade moves through the route. It also serves as a vital link between Asia and Europe. Due to rising dangers in the West Asian waters, Many companies have either suspended their operations or diverted the route through the Cape of Good Hope.